Hi, this is Jim Gibson from CableSupply.com and uh, this is going to be a short series on a doctor's clinic and just shows some basic cabling and all. But I feel like I have to introduce this one uh, at the beginning because the, the technicians that we're dealing with here at this site did not want their face shown. So you're going to see a lot of pointing towards the floor and the walls and all and yet the conversation is very informative and can really help a lot of people. Uh, this is the first in multiple series, so uh, the other series you're going to have a little more de detail and uh, the technicians kind of like lightened up a little bit and they didn't mind if their face was shown after a while. I um, hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Usually the GC might run around and, and tag the floor with the triangle for a low voltage location, but... We yeah, I, I never marked the floor. I had the floor plans and I, I now, I had... The, when I had the floor plans, and I notice I'm pointing out here towards the X, that's where the light is yep. going to go above it. So that's where the electrician. And you'll see a bullseye, a circle with a dot in it, and that's the sprinkler heads. Mm -hmm. So we try to avoid marking the floors with spray paint, because then you also have the X's in boxes, and those are the returns for the AC or the supplies. Mm -hmm. It's just one less tray one less thing that's going to get in the way of confusing someone. You know, the th I used to get the floor plans and people would say, well, they need a jack, uh, you know, in this area. And what I would say is, most likely I can get it in that area. Sometimes it's going to be three foot to the right or three foot to the left. The wall's very... Because of the wall. Uh, especially, the especially the only time you need to get in there before the, the drywall is those pony walls, those half walls. Yeah. you got to have conduit in there or you're going to have to cable it before you put the drywall in. And it yeah. becomes a problem. Houses are terrible. Try to avoid residential. You do houses? Yeah, <laughs> you, you are a good cabler because houses take five times longer or it's a and lot of conduit. twice as long to do it. Yes. A lot of conduit on the outside of the house and a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. And that's when you when you go to a house and, and you're cabling, that's, that's where you want to get in before they put the drywall up because they're using uh, stick construction, the, yeah. the wood. And it's a pain in the neck, and they don't have drop ceilings and things like that, and you just can't get through. Now, this this room has a hard ceiling. I noticed that. They only put hard ceilings in special rooms. This last one might be a lab. So it's definitely not a bathroom. Now, the trick I used to do when these hard ceilings is I'd go from the other side yeah. of the room. The other side of the room may not have a hard ceiling, and I could pull the cable down and in things fact, like that. It's our server closet on the other side. So our our backboard and our rack is going to be in this back corner, and we're taking the pathway out to the hallway, so mm -hmm. that way we can be outside of offices. It's always better to be running down hallways with your ladders, bumping a tile later on when it's mm -hmm. occupied in a hallway. Mm -hmm. You block the hallway for a short period of time, but you're not standing over someone's desk. Mm -hmm. Always try to avoid going over a desk. Yeah. Stay out of offices until you at least have to get to the location. When I had major upgrades to an occupied building, one, one of the things that I would do is I would um, uh, turn around and uh, and uh, do them at night, see if I can get in there after a business hours. And all. Like that. Yeah. They, they request, especially if you have to make noise, if we have to use a Hilti gun, mm -hmm. um, we would definitely have a 5 p.m. start to like a 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. or a 7 a.m. end time. Mm -hmm. Noise curfews are a big thing with customers. Like, I'm actually surprised we're here during the day because the tenant's below us. And I think, believe there's a tenant above us. And no one's mm -hmm. complained about noise yet, but we're not using ramset guns. We're not using impact drills. But just rolling carts on the ground, setting the ladder mm -hmm. down. Even though you're quiet, it causes vibration. Well, L.A. had that. That's one of the reasons why I stopped working in L.A. LA is all night work. Gosh, it's, it's just a lot of requirements and a lot of... Uh, you know, uh, uh, extra code that you don't actually need, and then every city is different. Yeah, LA, LA has different was codes tough. for uh, supporting your hardware. Mm -hmm. So far, every city is the same. On you support your own product, mm -hmm. you have to hang your own supplies. Um, but LA, and I think there's Chula Vista. Mm -hmm. You have to actually attach your wire to the ceiling grid with the banana clips. And usually that's a no-no. You're not supposed to touch the grid. You're not supposed to support the grid. Because if you move your cable through the hook, you move your hook wire. Mm -hmm. If you start moving the grid, you bend mm -hmm. the grid. T-bar is really easy to bend. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was actually, I failed an inspection because I didn't know that before. And they came through and we just 
I had left extra wire on our hooks, mm -hmm. so I bent the wire back down and attached the banana clip, mm -hmm. and it passed at that point. Now we 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 call it bat wing. You're calling it banana. So clip. the the bat wing. Here, see if we can look at a J hook. Okay. So what we've noticed on that black little clip on the hook attaches to the grid wire if you want to support it vertically. And I, don't, I don't see it. Where are it's you? Right there. That hook right there. So if you step to the side, you can see the little black clip on it right by the HVAC. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now we call that a bat wing. Yeah, so that be the bat wing. We've also described that for the hook. But then the, the banana clips are usually used on, they're like a yellow metal ribbons that would clip onto the T-bar. Uh -huh. And they would just attach a good wire to the T-bar for extra support. But I think LA and Chula Vista are the only two cities I know of that require that now, as of right now. I put a, an exact duplicate system in New York City and one in LA. Exact duplicates. And when I did that, I looked at the price difference between the two. And actually, it was more profitable to do New York City than LA. So, sure. Okay. You can get the rack halfway of that. Oh, okay. In fact, so it's no problem. I didn't know that was going to be I thought that was going to be a light. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just here. Uh, I, I guess we were supposed to go there, but then this copper line came, so this is my first day here doing this, so. Yeah, but we were supposed to go there, but the copper line came, so we moved over. How about if I go around this way? Uh, it doesn't matter, left or right. Just because you have this right here that's going to be in the way. That, I think that is going to be in the way. That's not going to be a light. I thought that was the light symbol. Yeah, that's, that's, that's so what I'll do is I'll, that's what I thought. <laughs> I'll move that over here and I'll come this way. That's fine. Go along this wall so I can miss this uh, uh, this sewer pipe or this pipe right here. Yeah, that works out. Who is? And then we're actually getting closer to the back side of the hooks. Yeah. Uh, I looked up and was like, hey, that was in there five minutes ago. I know, man. Where'd that come from? <laughs> No problem. Tricks of the trade. Negotiating with uh, the trades. That's one problem during the middle of construction. You yeah. don't know where everything's going until it gets put in. Yeah. So you're standing under a light, apparently. Oh, a light's going to go right here? Somehow. It's probably going to go in this one. This one looks like more of a two foot by four foot tile than that one. Yeah, it does. Arrow. Yeah, I believe it's... Arrows right here, right side. Well, well that's good then, because uh, the one halfway outside. I miss it. Yeah, so, all the way over here. So you guys use stiffies, huh? not your regular uh, uh, J hooks. We prefer the stiffies yeah, from tomorrow. I like, I like installing the stiffy ones. The yeah, plastic what? is a lot softer on the cable. Mm -hmm. It's a lot forgiving, a lot more forgiving. Mm -hmm. Supports a lot of weight. That's a three and a half inch hook. And they come with just the bat wings, they come plain, they come on solid, like three inch rod. Mm -hmm. You can attach them to timber pins from mm -hmm. wood, concrete pins. You can attach them to basically anything you want. You can get them. Do you need a tile in that? Oh. So it's going to be tough getting a tile in there. It, yeah. And it's going to, yeah, especially with the pipe there, and then you're. You're gonna have to fan out your cables. Uh, what do you got? About two inches, it looks like. Yeah. I'm just gonna drop my tile first, and you guys can run it all under. Absolutely. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hell yeah. It'd probably be better to do that anyway. I'm okay. Because with that because we, we have a lot of cable there. I wish we could stuff and bow it down or it'll something. Be, it'll be easier for you to put your tile in too. Oh yeah. yeah. That pipe's gonna be easier. Yeah, get that option though. <laughs> so you'll get that one you know, tile we can put in. Just leave all the others out. So what is it, four stories above us, right? I think there's Three. only Three? Three. Is it, yeah, we're on the second story. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and when they constructed it, sometimes I know they put the, uh, a raceway through on some of the thick supports. I've seen that before. You don't have any here, huh? Not here. No, they didn't, they didn't think about that. And they made the ceiling high. So now you're going to have problems getting through there. About an eight-foot ceiling? Now about an eight-foot ceiling? Yeah. Six, nine, or seven, nine? Something like that. Yeah, it's about an eight foot ceiling. I guess they could have like taken it down. Right here is just slurry and you probably knock out. Oh, where? Don't hold me to it, but. Oh, yeah. That's just bullshit concrete. It's 
back with a hole. In it. There's a hole there? There used to be. There used to be. You might be able to beat it out with a hammer. There might be a way to get through that wall that gives uh, you guys on the ceiling tiles a lot more room. What's that? I'm trying to find there's no side. opening there though. But there's there's a little bit there, isn't it? The, that copper pipe actually looks like a black pipe from here, but it's copper. But it's copper. Insulated copper. But it's obviously not a firewall. No, not a firewall. It's just a support. Yeah, piece. And I see something up there. Oh, that's just a piece of uh, wood from the construction when they uh, formed the. Uh, but is that a hole to the left of the two pipes up there? Mm. You see it? A little Not square hole? Of a hole, but it might yeah. be a hole. I don't see anything else. Is there a place to get some burgers around here? Yeah, yeah, it's tied off. So, so that's going about, into the server it's going room. Straight down this way. Yeah, it's going down this way. <clears throat> All the way down. Where's your bucket though? The full string bucket? In the uh, server room? In the server room? No, uh, that, I, I cut it off already. It's already done. Every time we do a leg, we pull from the server I tied both ends okay. already, so it's not And if we do a branch off, we start at the main pathway and pull from that location. So this is a This is the other pathway. pathway. We got the other pathway in here. It's going straight through this way. The fewer the turns, the better it is. Yes, <laughs> it pulls better. What is it, about uh, 290s for a conduit? And then uh, forget it after that. Pull box. Yes, pull right, box. After, after two. With a usually, service loop. What you want is to, it usually ends up being on your fourth 90, you put a J box. Mm -hmm. So uh, here's so a I pony wall, then you're gonna have some data down there, right? On your pony wall. There's some snakes out under the wall, so the electrician was nice enough to put a flex in for us. Flex. Stub out. That's now, nice. Under the main counter for checking in patients, they have it coming up right here in the corner. Okay, let me follow that up. Where? It's right off into the corner, right by that metal stud. You can see it sneaking out into the next bay right there. Oh yeah, I see it there. Sticking out. So, you know, I'm... I'm talking to this this issue here. So when you're looking for uh, it to design something like this, if you're an electrician, then you better have the stub outs in place. Or you put the cable in before uh, the uh, uh, the drywall. But you always want another path because maybe in the future you want to upgrade that cable. You so that happens, we have to just pull it out and put it in new. Now the code tells you. Yeah, but I mean, if you don't have that that stub out, you can't pull out the old and you can't put in the new. So you got it. Painting, yeah. Budding. <laughs> Customers don't like to hear those words. No, but. Patching? What? No. If you, if you get the electrician to give you stub outs, then in the future, especially with a pony wall, and this being a pony wall, that's what you're going to have. Now, also, the code, I don't know if they followed it here, but it looks like they did because they're close together. Uh, has to be separated low voltage from high voltage with a beam between it. Or one on each side of the bay. Yeah, so I meant. So no, yeah. No, like in the same bay, one on oh, each side. Oh, one on each side of the bay. We've always went to the other side of the uh, the they beam. So you had to stay out of that bay completely. So, and then uh, you know what's really nice? They have a lot of. A lot of uh, outlets. There's going to be a lot of workstations in here. And when people don't put enough outlets in, you know what happens is then you go back and you put them in. Somewhere. I get a feeling we're going to be adding another one to this wall over here. You though. should, yeah. So you're going to bring it down right here, uh, down this side of the wall here. I don't think you can kick in, but so you you're going to have to do it there. 
a short distance because the vertical studs usually have holes in them. So if you can snake, like you see in the doorway, mm -hmm. you can snake through one of those holes if you cut it in the right spot, but you don't know where it is, so you just have to cut open the wall to find it. Yeah. Cut open the size of a lettering, that way you can put a blank plate on for starters. If you have to go bigger than that, you just have to patch the wall. <laughs>